On September 21st, 2009, Progress M67 undocked to free up the aft docking port of the Svezda for the arrival of Soyuz TMA-16. Progress M67 spent a week in orbit before being deorbited and burned up upon re-entry on September 27, 2009. On September 30th, 2009, Soyuz TMA-16 launched atop a Soyuz FG carrier rocket from Bankinor Cosmodrome with Maxim Suryev and Jeffrey Williams, making a part of the Expedition 21 crew, and space tourist Guy La Liberté, founder and CEO of Cirque du Soleil, who paid $35 million for his seat. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and its single engine. At first stage, measuring 68 feet in length, 24 feet in diameter. The pressure is normal. We copy and everything is nominal on board the Soyuz. Pitch and roll reported uh, to be nominal by Russian flight controllers. How about the G's? One minute, 10 seconds into the flight, the velocity now 1,100 miles per hour. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Soyuz TMA-16 docked with the aft port of the Svezda module on October 1st, 2009. Observed. Taking a look now at uh, video gathered on board the International Space Station looking into the Zvezda service module. You can see Nicole Stott there and uh, Commander Gennady Panaka there in the middle, Mike Baird there on the right, Bob Thirst there on the left. of making his way inside the Zvezda service module, greeting uh, his brand new fellow crew members. Canadian space line participant Guy La Liberté making his entrance. He is kicking off one week aboard the station. He will come home with uh, Gennady Fidalka and uh, Mike Barrett as they come home aboard their TMA-14 Soyuz. It was a crowded week aboard the station, with nine crew members aboard. And on October 11, 2009, Gennady Padalica, Michael Barrett, and Guy La Liberté entered Soyuz TMA-14 and undocked from the Pierce module on October 11, 2009. The deorbit procedure went as planned, and the crew landed on the steps of Kazakhstan later that day. On October 15, 2009, Progress M03M launched on a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Site 15 at Baikonur Cosmodrome.
After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, Progress MO3M docked with the Pierce module on 18th of October. This progress is loaded with 2.6 tons of food, fuel, supplies, spare parts, oxygen, and propellant. Uh, to be exact, 1,918 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen and air, 220 pounds of water, and 3,031 pounds of dry cargo, which includes maintenance hardware, resupply items, life support system items, and experiment equipment for the expedition crew. On October 30th, 2009, HTV-1, which had been docked since September 17th, 2009, was removed from the Nadir port on Harmony by the Canadarm-2 and released from the station. HTV-1 performed several deorbit burns and burnt up over the Pacific Ocean on November 1st, 2009. On November 10th, 2009, the Poisk module, attached to a Progress service module, launched atop a Soyuz U carrier rocket from Launch Pad 1 at Baikonur Cosmodrome. The Poisk, which is nearly identical to the Pierce module, serves as a docking port for Soyuz and Progress spacecraft and as an airlock for spacewalks. Poisk also provides extra space for scientific experiments and provides power supply outlets and data transmission interfaces for two external scientific payloads developed by the Russian Academy of Sciences. Following the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, the Poisk module approached the station, carrying about 816 kilograms of cargo for the ISS, including a new Russian Orlan spacesuit, life support equipment, medical supplies, and crew hygiene items. Poisk docked to the Zenith port on the Svezda module on November 12, 2009. The Progress Service Module attached to the Poisk would be jettisoned on December 8, 2009 and was destroyed during re-entry into the atmosphere. The Poisk was now ready to receive Soyuz and Progress spacecraft. <laughs> 